Have you ever thought about what lies beneath your feet? Not just the rocks and dirt we see every day, but layers upon layers of history, stretching back millions, even billions of years. Our demand for resources means we dig deep into the earth, and sometimes, in the process, we stumble upon something truly extraordinary, fossils, the preserved remnants of prehistoric life. These finds aren't just interesting specimens. They are tangible links to lost worlds, providing critical clues that help us understand the incredible story of Earth and the life that has called it home. What miners are pulling out of the ground isn't just ore or coal. Sometimes, it's the very fabric of ancient history. You might wonder, why mining? Why are these industrial operations focused on extracting minerals and fuel, such fertile ground for paleontology? The answer lies in the types of rocks where fossils are most commonly found, sedimentary rocks. These rocks are formed over vast stretches of time, sediment like sand, mud, and the remains of organisms accumulate and harden. Many valuable resources targeted by mining, like coal, oil sands, and certain mineral deposits, are found within these very sedimentary layers. When miners excavate these rocks, they are literally digging through ancient environments where life once thrived and was preserved. The sources highlight that unaltered sedimentary deposits are the main source for fossils. Geology maps can help reveal where such rock types are located. So, while miners are looking for coal, gold, or phosphates, they are often working within the geological contexts most likely to contain fossils. Miners, often the first humans to see rock layers untouched for eons, have made some truly astonishing fossil discoveries. These finds have ranged from tiny plant fragments to massive skeletons. The Alberta nodosaur, in the spring of heavy equipment operator Sean Funk, was working at the Millennia Mine, a large oil sand pit near Fort McMurray, Alberta. While carving through rock, he clipped something unusually hard. What he and his supervisor initially speculated might be skeletal remains turned out to be an almost entirely preserved dinosaur, a nodosaur. This incredible specimen was petrified from snout to hips, including fossilized skin, bumpy armor plates, and scales. One paleontologist commented that the fossil was so well preserved, it looked like it might have been walking around a couple of weeks ago. This nodosaur was an foot long, nearly pound herbivore. The resulting pound fossil is now housed at Alberta's Royal Tyrell Museum. The coal turtle, another giant discovery occurred in, in a coal mine at Columbia's Sir Regon Formation. Here, miners found a fossil turtle with a shell so large that was described as being the size of a kitchen table that could seat six people. Dubbed the coal turtle, its skull alone was about inches, roughly the size of an NFL football. The shell measured feet inches long, the same height as the doctoral student who discovered it. The fossil revealed the turtle had powerful jaws, capable of eating a variety of things, including crocodiles, dinosaur footprints in Utah. Coal mines can reveal more than just bones. In Spring Canyon, Utah, thousands of natural casts of dinosaur footprints were discovered in the roof surface of a coal mine. These casts appear as protrusions hanging down from the ceiling. Some can be up to three feet long and weigh hundreds of pounds. These casts often from trackways where prehistoric bipedal dinosaurs frequently walked. In some areas, the mine roof is so covered with overlapping tracks, it resembles livestock tracks in a corral. The Illinois Fossil Forest, perhaps one of the most unique mining discoveries, is an entire fossil forest entombed underground in the Illinois Basin. Dating back million years, this forest lies within a series of eight active mines, located between and feet underground. Paleontologists have described it as a lost world and the closest thing to time travel. The forest grew atop thick peat that eventually compressed into coal. When the coal is extracted, the fossilized remains of the trees and other plants can be seen in the mine shell ceiling. William A. Dimichelli, one of its discoverers, called it a botanical Pompeii. 
buried in a geological instant. Because of how it's preserved, this fossil forest can only be viewed from below. Australian megafauna, down under, at the South Walker Creek coal mine in the Bowen Basin, a treasure trove of Australian megafauna fossils was unearthed in. This site contained remnants from about species, including crocodiles and reptiles over feet long, grey kangaroos eight feet tall, enormous forest wallabies, and the largest marsupial ever, a prehistoric wombat the size of a small car, known as a diprotodon. Interestingly, many of these fossils bore teeth marks from the giant crocodiles. These finds were first made during a cultural heritage survey with the indigenous Baradabana people, who were credited with the initial discovery. The mine owner later provided a grant for further research. Megalodon and marine fossils in North Carolina. A phosphate mine in North Carolina has proven to be a hotspot for marine fossils, particularly from the Pliocene period. So many megalodon and other marine fossils have been collected from this location that the town of Aurora actually built a fossil museum to preserve and display them. West Virginia Coal Mine Finds In southern West Virginia, coal miners commonly come across fossils. These finds often include shell and tree parts, like branches and stumps. One miner even reported coming across what appeared to be a large fossilized snake, which they described as being longer and thicker than a modern snake, seen on the ceiling about feet deep. Another specific find brought home by a miner was a fossil with distinct ripples. Initially speculated to be a horn or tree branch, it was identified by a geologist as potentially the pith of an ancient plant like chordates or artisia. Miners report it's very common to find fossils in these mines. These examples highlight a crucial, though perhaps unexpected, partnership between the mining industry and the scientific field of paleontology... Mining companies frequently work with paleontologists, sometimes even employing their own staff scientists to look for unusual formations and alert researchers to potential finds. This collaboration ensures that these invaluable historical artifacts are collected and studied before they are lost or damaged by continued mining operations. Beyond scientific discovery, paleontologists working with miners can also help identify natural hazards within a mine based on the fossil environment, contributing to mine safety. Miners themselves often feel a sense of pride in contributing to scientific research through their discoveries. Why are these fossils, pulled from mines and pits, so important to science? Because fossils are fundamental tools for understanding Earth's long and complex history... Earth's history spans approximately billion years... To make sense of this immense time scale, geologists have developed the geological time scale a chronological system that organizes Earth's past into eons, eras, periods, and epochs. Fossils are absolutely essential to building and navigating this time scale. The core principle that different species of organisms evolved, lived, and went extinct at specific times in Earth's history. Therefore, when a particular type of fossil is found in a rock layer, it acts like a timestamp indicating the general age of that layer. This concept is known as faunal succession, famously developed by William Smith in the TH century. Smith observed that distinct fossils could be used to identify and correlate rock layers across different regions, even if the rocks themselves looked different. This became a cornerstone of historical geology. By studying the sequence of rock layers, stratigraphy, and the fossils contained within them, Geologists can organize strata chronologically. For instance, finding specific marine fossils above sea level led early scholars, even dating back to ancient Greece, to infer that the positions of land and sea had changed over long periods. Later, the transition from sandstone containing potential dinosaur bones to chalk containing marine fossils in southeast England clearly marks a rise in sea levels, marine transgression towards the end of the Cretaceous period. The fossil record reveals major biological and geological events 
throughout Earth's history... Dot, dot, dot. The Phanerozoic Eon, which covers the last million years, is specifically called visible life because it's marked by the abundance of fossils of organisms with hard body parts that preserve well. Before this, life existed, but it was mostly soft-bodied and rarely fossilized. Fossils document periods of rapid diversification, like the Cambrian explosion. Discovered in sites like the Burgess Shale in Western Canada, a Lagostet known for exceptional fossil preservation of soft body parts, this period saw the sudden appearance of many complex animal groups, famous and often bizarre creatures like the five-eyed opabinia, the spiny wewaxia, and the top predator anomalocaris were found here. Crucially, the Burgess shale also yielded pikeia, a segmented worm thought to be an early ancestor of the chordata phylum, which includes vertebrates like humans. Beyond major events, the fossil record shows the gradual evolution of life. Silurian rocks, for instance, provide the first evidence of land dwelling plants, coxonia, and animals, insects, spiders. The development of jaws in fish during the Silurian period allowed them to exploit new food sources. In the Cenozoic era, mammal groups diversified, showing fascinating evolutionary paths like horses changing from small, four-toed creatures to larger ones with a single toe, and whales evolving from small bear-like land animals into marine mammals. Human evolution, focusing on hominids starting in eastern Africa, is also a highly studied part of the Cenozoic fossil record. The fossils unearthed by miners are more than historical curiosities. They are critical pieces of evidence that help scientists reconstruct past landscapes environments, and ecosystems. They provide a tangible link to the deep history of our planet, helping us understand how life has evolved, responded to environmental changes, and shaped the world we see today. From ancient plants in coal seams to ice age mammals in gold fields, these discoveries, often unexpected by those digging for resources, are invaluable contributions to our ever-growing understanding of Earth's remarkable dot dash billion year journey dot dot dot. So next time you think about mining, remember that beyond the valuable minerals and fuels being extracted, this industry is also, quite literally, digging up the past. It's a powerful reminder that Earth's history is written in its rocks, and sometimes it takes human ingenuity and a bit of luck to read its ancient story. The surprising partnership between mining and paleontology continues to reveal more about the incredible ancient life that walked, swam, and flew on our planet millions of years before us. Bienvenido a nuestro canal Geo Voices, donde encontrarás muchos videos sobre geología, geoquímica, análisis estructural y la aplicación de la inteligencia artificial a las ciencias de la Tierra. Por favor, dale a me gusta y suscríbete. Y no olvides hacer clic en la campana de notificación. ¿Tienes preguntas? Déjame un comentario abajo. I think these videos are brilliant and I'm sure you will like them too. Please like, comment and subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell.